Members of Congress owe the District of Columbia thousands of dollars in parking, red light, and speeding tickets, some of them leaving those tickets unpaid for years. Gary Nuremberg is parked legally, we hope, down on the hill, and he's got the story. Gary. Well, Derek, now that some public attention is being paid to this, some of those congressional no pays are beginning to cough it up. There's about $15,000 in outstanding tickets as of mid-March. And of those tickets, about three quarters, about $11,500 actually delinquent. It means the tickets have been out for more than 60 days, in some cases years. She's the Capitol Hill newspaper roll call reporter who broke the story on page one. She cites Mississippi Congressman Benny Thompson, whose tickets went back to 2004, and who has since paid up about $610. Anthony Weiner of New York, nearly $2,200 in tickets, paid up when contacted by roll call. It's easy to run afoul of the confusing signs and get tickets, but members of Congress not paying them? I mean, it's not surprising, but dis disappointing, but not surprising. Not too happy about it. Not fair. I could say worse. The city, which isn't getting as much federal funding as it wants, at least wants these congressional cheapskates to pay up. We wish to pay up because we could use the revenue. Mickey mad? Well, I don't know if it makes me mad, but I want to see them pay up. Now, that has been brought to light. Uh, help us out with our uh, big budget deficit that we face for next fiscal year. Just pay up the tickets. Well, that $15,000 in unpaid tickets is just the documented amount. Because of federal privacy laws, not all the plates and parking permits could be traced. One car in the congressional lot at Reagan National Airport, $1,100 in tickets in just November and December. One car in the Rayburn garage, $1,300, and that money is not included in the $15,000. Derek and Anita. Wow.